The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to lesson 141 of your distance learning program for Geology Upper Six Science with Kenneth Yosumbo. During our last lesson, we had an assignment and we're expected to assess the rule of geologic structures in the fields of civil engineering and mining. We're also expected to outline five major geologic structures that cut across rock bodies in Cameroon. Now, to approach that assignment, in the first part, where we have to assess the uh, assess the rule of geologic uh, structures in the fields of civil engineering and uh, mining. For civil engineering, geologic structures will assist or geologic structures will influence the choice of sites for dam construction. We have different many, uh, we have uh, a cross section or we have many dams in Cameroon. Note should be taken that for the sites of those dams to be chosen. The geologic structures have to be taken into serious consideration. Uh, geologic structures in the field of civil engineering influence the choice of materials for civil construction works or for building constructions. Now, in constructing houses, in roads, and so on, we have to take note of the different structures that cut across the direction we are taking. If not, we will waste time and energy and rather create danger. Now, in the field of mining, geologic structures control the emplacement of uh, mines. Geologic structures control mineralization as well as the facilitate exploration of uh, economic resources. That is the role in the field of mining. Now we're asked to outline five geologic structures that cut across rock bodies in Cameroon. Remember that we said generally we can assess or we can come out with five or with three main transcurrent structures. But this time around we have five, and those most common five include the Cameroon Shear Zone that forms the upper margin of the Congo Craton. That is a collision suture that forms a nap. We have the Sanaga Shear Zone that is most likely concentrated with you know horizontal and vertical displacements. Those are very fertile areas to trace the focus of earthquakes. Some time ago, we got some tremors in Ebebda village and, other, and also in uh, Edea as well as in Kyosi Anamba. Those tremors are directly related to these fault zones. We also have the Decho Lire. Banyo, Shear Zone. We have the Fumban, Shear Zone. And then we have the Cameroon Volcanic Line. These are the five major geologic structures. We can have others, but we are asked for five.
tam tam amote tam zabike mane tam bia ninya ne injo bia yan we continue our lesson of exploiting the geology of Cameroon where we have already seen the igneous geology of Cameroon we have seen the uh, Cameroon volcanic line we have seen the metamorphics of Cameroon we have seen the sedimentary geology and basins in Cameroon we have also seen limnology and the uh, lacustrine processes in Cameroon we have seen the geologic structures in Cameroon so we're going to continue today by looking at the economic minerals and the natural resources in Cameroon. So our lesson 141 is titled Economic Minerals and Natural Resources in Cameroon. We are going to look at the lesson objectives. We will, come out, we will have to involve some uh, vital information and knowledge that is uh, necessary to understand the economic resources and natural resources in Cameroon. Then we will come up with a real life situation and then carry out some activities that will help us to develop our content. Then come up with some exercises to check if we have learned or we, if we have appropriated information. And then we will end our lesson with an assignment. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to identify and locate mineral resources in Cameroon. We will also be able to align the benefits of mineral resources in Cameroon. There is no reason for us to be tracking these different resources when they are not beneficial, especially to man. Now, key information that are required in order to understand the economic resources and natural resources in Cameroon involve the knowledge of mineralogy and crystallography. We also need knowledge of the three broad groups of rocks and the economic geology that we have learned through theory in the general program. Now in our real life situation we look at four photos. Photo one which shows a mineral, take note of the features that are produced and the appearance. We have photo two, that is an image of magnetite. Photo three, image of uh, double reflecting, uh, reflecting uh, 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 calcite. And then we also have transparent as well as double reflecting calcite as photo four. Now, photos one, two, three, and four are mined at different localities in Cameroon. The geologists conclude that the various rock groups around the country are composed of diverse mineral assemblages rich in all deposits. Question. Cameroon is called African miniature from the geological point of view. Can we be able to justify this? Or what is the justification? Can we justify it through the fact that Cameroon is endowed with natural resources? Can we also justify it through the fact that uh, Cameroon is prone to common natural disasters? Or are we saying that it is uh, uh, due to the fact that Cameroon has a reduced global warming activities? or the fact that Cameroon is rich in agricultural resources. As we go through our lesson, we will see which of these hypotheses helps us to be able to ascertain the fact that uh, 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 Cameroon is African miniature from a geological point of view. Now, in our learning activities, you see those resources and what they are used for. You have a resource like diamond, which is raw material, and it is used in making rings. We also have uh, uh, quartz crystals that are used in making glasses. Now, in our lesson, we will therefore find out economic minerals in Cameroon. And then we will see, we will try to find out their occurrences and uses. And then we will also be able to know mineral deposits distribution map of Cameroon. 
so that if we want to track down such resources, we can know exactly where they are found. We want to exploit, we can only know where they found. Now, economic minerals in Cameroon. We should know that economic uh, eco uh, geology of Cameroon is favorable. It's favorable to mineralization. And because it's favorable to mineralization, it would therefore facilitate the concentration to explorable rates for benefits of precious metals, base metals, rare metals, as well as hydrocarbons. Or hydro uh, or, or energy uh, 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 metals. Now, the geologic setting of resources in Cameroon. This is very important. We should know that we are, our previous lesson talked about the different geologic structures. And those are, we saw the application in the field of mining. This is where these structures again become very, very essential. We have the Congo Craton with Archean Greenstone belts, which constitute the Nja series that has high concentration of iron ore and diamond. We also have the Central Cameroon Shear Zone that forms the Poly series. This Poly series is also rich in diamond and gold. And then we have the Sanaga Shear Zone that forms the Lom series. The Lom series is the powerhouse or the stock zone of gold in Cameroon. We have the Pan-African Mobile Belt that form the grounds for Plaza Gold. Then we have the sedimentary basins that are the core zones of our oil and gas as well as salts. Now, the mineral resources in Cameroon, therefore, are classified into four. We have precious metals and precious stones. We also have construction materials, we have ores, and we have energy minerals. We are going to uh, uh, exploit them one after the other and we find the exact locations where they are found in Cameroon. We begin with precious metals and the precious stones. The ones that are common in Cameroon, we have our dear diamond, we have gold, we have sapphire, and we have kyanite. Those are the common ones. As we exploit, we'll see many more and where they are found in Cameroon. Now, let's look at the diamond in Cameroon. Diamond in Cameroon is located at the Nja series. That is, at the Congo Craton, the Nja series, which, uh, 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 which uh, includes... Uh, uh, the Mobilong Yukaduma Diamond We have the Keta And then we have the Bumbara We have the Lom uh, Bumbe 2 We have the Betari Oya We have the Gari Bumba, uh, Gombo And then we have Traces in Poli uh, or We have the Gari Gombo Traces in Poli, that is at the north region of Cameroon, and we have the Mamfi zone, southwest region of Cameroon. Those are the hiding homes of diamond in Cameroon. We have gold in Cameroon. Gold in Cameroon covers portions of Yokaduma in the south, uh, in the east region, Lom, Mbere and Mayore range. The uh, Mbere and Mayore uh, range, and then you have what? The Colomines. These are all found, uh, uh, Colomines is found in the east region, Yokaduma is also in the east region, then Lom and Mbere uh, and the Mayore, they are uh, 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 Adamawa and the north region. Then we have the Baturi, the Cholire, and then we have the Akonolinga, or the, the Ray Bomba, 
in exploration state. Those are the common gold zones that are still on exploration state. Then we have the Mam, we have the, the Bulu, and then we have the Mom, the Mompwe at the east region of Cameroon and the north region. Then we have the Misaje, we have the Bipindi, Lolodov. That is in the south region of Cameroon. Misaje is in uh, the northwest region of Cameroon. And then we have the Baturi, still in the east region of Cameroon. And then we have the Sangmalima, south uh, region of Cameroon. We have um, Mamfe, we have uh, uh, Ebolowa, and we have the Okola gold zones in Cameroon. No should be taken that there are some of them that are still under exploration. They are still under search. We have Sapphire and Corundum. Sapphire and Corundum are found in Manfe Basin, that is the southwest region, in the Mayo Kewal, then the Paro Lawel, then we have the Mayo Dangali, then we have the Mama, then the, Karang, the Karange, and then the Tinere and the Tibati zones in the Adamawa region of Cameroon. What about Rutai and Kyanite? Rutai and Kyanite are found in Akonolinga. Nanga, Mboko, and the Otele. We also have the Otiti, Otite, and then the Ngol Afamba, then the Sak Bayeme, and we have the, the Fifinda, the Lobo, Dingba, all of these situated in the central region of Cameroon. Then we have the Abongbang, which is in the east region of Cameroon. So the real powerhouse of Rutai and Kyanite in Cameroon is in the central region of Cameroon. Then we move out of the precious uh, minerals and we get into ores in Cameroon. What are the common ores in Cameroon? We have iron ores, we have the bauxite ores, we have the nickel and the cobalt ores. That is a cross-section of some. We have as many as possible, as we can see. In the iron ores, we realize that they are located at the Mbalam, the Mbalam zone, at the Nja series, which is in the east region of Cameroon. We have the Kribi, then the Nkot and the Bikola, the, the Kwambo and the Bipindi, all of them found in the south region of Cameroon. Then we have the Mayo Binka and the Babungo iron uh, 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 ores. Mayo Binka is most likely re referred to as meteorite because it is believed to have come from space. Then the Babungo, and not to be taken that most iron areas in Cameroon can easily be identified because Lucas most likely exploit them and they use them in making uh, uh, farm tools, knives, uh, 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 axes, and so on. Then alumina or bauxite. Bauxite is located in Minimatap and Ganda, that is in Adamawa region. We also have Fungo Tongo. At uh, uh, Anfumban in the west region. Then we have the Bangem in the southwest regions of Cameroon. Those are the power homes of uh, 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 bauxite in Cameroon. Then nickel, cobalt, and manganese in Cameroon are located in the east region of Cameroon in, uh, 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 in Nkamua, Lomi. That is at uh, Congo, and then uh, the Congo, Man, Me, Ma, Masia, then Condom uh, 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 areas. Then we have the Yukoduma, the Mintang, the Riani, and then we have the Gaoloa and the Mbalam, all in the east region of Cameroon. So these particular minerals, nickel, cobalt, and manganese, are most likely concentrated in the east and the uh, south regions of Cameroon. Then we have uh, titanium, rutai, garnet, ilmanite, wolfram, uh, wolframite, and chromite, most likely concentrated in Akonolinga, Edea, 
Battery oil, uh, 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 Buenjo, and then we have Bunjab, and then we have Kribi, uh, the Dubriel, and we have uh, the Gaga, Sarali, and the Nanga, uh, Nanga and Boko portions of Cameroon. They constitute, uh, they have many of these our uh, uh, minerals. And then we have the James Stone. James Stone most likely concentrated in coal mines and the, the Kambele, the Kambele uh, uh, parts of Cameroon. Then bismuth and the molybdenum, as well as lead are concentrated in battery oil. Then we have cyanide and nephilim, as well as our first pass, are enriched in a bonja. These are minerals that are found in everywhere. But when we are looking for them as economic resources, we are talking about areas where they have concentrated at the rate that can be exploited at a benefit. We have uh, 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 ferrous minerals like tin. Tin is found in Mayodali. We also have it in Garua, and then we have it in Baturi. Then Zekong, which is one of the rare eggs, is found in Ngomazab. That is in the south region. And then we have uh, rare egg metals concentrated in Mayodali, that is in Adamawa. And then we have other uh, uh, mineral resources or other ores like cassiterite. Cassiterite is concentrated in Mayo uh, Dali in Adamawa. And then we have meteorites like iron. That is uh, Mayo Binka in the northwest region of Cameroon. And we have manganese at Njerem in the north region of Cameroon. Then we have kaolin. Kaolin is located in uh, 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 Mayom, that is in the west region, and then in Mankon, northwest Cameroon. Then we have Tark. Tark is located in Lamao uh, Pongue, Pongue, in the central region. And then we have uh, Quartz, located in Puma, and then we have Sa and uh, 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 Mbamayo portions, most likely in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the central region. We are talking about areas where they are concentrated at the level where they can be exploited for economic benefits. Then we have first pass. First pass are located in uh, Ebonja, south, and then we have uh, Boboyo at the far north, and then we have the Mbangante at the west, we have the Mogole at the southwest, uh, southeast of uh, the littoral region, and have, we have Lingte in the central region. Then energy minerals. These energy minerals are most likely, we call them, the, the, the most common is, uran, is uranium. Uranium is located at the southeast and the southwest uh, portions at Poli, uh, Poli and the, 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 the Teoban in the north region of Cameroon. And then we have Lolodov in the south region and we have Ngombas in the central region. Then we'll go to construction materials now. The ones that have constructed and they are concentrated and they can be exploited for economic benefits. We most likely have clays. We have quartz and we have uh, quartzite. We have uh, sand and we have gravel stone. That is stone that can be transformed to gravel. We have most likely marble and we have granite. Or oh, those are our competent rocks. Clay construction materials in Cameroon. We have them located in Nangai in Boko, in Ebebda, we have th those are areas in central region, and then we have the Mukor, in Mukor area, and the Duala, and Duala all situated in uh, littoral region. Then we also have the Monum Plain in the west region, and we have the Ndop Plain in the northwest. Most likely they are used, for, they, they, they most likely transform them to porcelain, uh, to, uh, 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 to ceramics. Then we have pozolain. Pozolain is common in jungle, that is in littoral, and is most likely situated along many areas in the Cameroon volcanic uh, line, like in uh, southwest and the northwest, as well as the north, Adamawa north and far north regions of Cameroon. Then sand and pure 
Pusan. You have the Mano the Manoka Pusan deposit for glass making. That is in the littoral region. That is the most fertile area that where the pure sand is exploited for glass making. And then we have gravel stone. I have eighty percent of Cameroon crystalline base uh, 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 hard rocks are transformed by supplies to produce gravel and dimension stones. Then limestone. We have the limestone is located at Figueu. That is at none. We have Mungu, uh, Bongo, Bongongo. And then we have the Lok Bajek. We, have, uh, uh, we also have the Kompena Ngo, uh, Venier at the littoral regions. We have the Mintong at the upper Nja series. And then we have Mamfe and uh, Balangi, as well as Idiki in the southwest regions of Cameroon. Now, uh, we have marble. You know that marble is transformation of pure limestone. Now, our marbles are most likely concentrated in the north region of Cameroon, where we have uh, the Biza and the Bio zones, rich in marble formations. General application of Cameroon uh, mineral resources. They are generally they are raw materials in the development of um, uh, 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 materials engineering. There are also raw materials for energy or minerals uh, and uh, companies. There are materials for toothpaste, pens, plates, and raw materials for these industries. And then they also serve a very good grounds in socioeconomic development. So that is the mineral location map of the mineral resources location map of Cameroon. You will see that it's, it's distributed everywhere. Those mineral resources are distributed everywhere in Cameroon. Recall that Cameroon mineral resources are grouped into precious metals and precious stones like diamond, gold, sapphire, and kyanite. Also recall the fact that construction materials like clay, uh, 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 um, uh, quasite, sand, gravel stone are part of the mineral resources in Cameroon. Then oils, like it also include oils like uh, uh, ores like iron, uh, uh, alumina or bauxite, nickel, cobalt, and energy minerals like uranium. We dive into some exercises. Exercise number one. It is an ore of iron used for heavy media in Cameroon. Our correct answer is magnetite. That is iron ore. That is the one that is most likely used for heavy media. Uh, question number two. Name an acid neutralizer in soil which is also heated for the production of lime by the Roko, uh, uh, the, the Roka Lia and the, the Luka Lia and the Simenkam in Bitza Garua. Of course, we are talking about calcite. Pure sand extracted in Manonka in Manoka deposit uh, uh, circles by soca, uh, Sokava is mainly used for pure sand extracted in Manoka deposit circles by soco, uh, soca, uh, Sokava is mainly used for correct answer is C is used for glass making and abrasives then Exercise number four, name a mineral for making baby powder as well as uh, plastics and uh, rubber located in Lamao, uh, uh, Pogue, center, in the central region of Cameroon. Of course, we are talking about talc. It's a soft mineral that can be extracted for powder. 
Bonsite and iron ores in Cameroon are respectively located in Bauxite and iron ores in Cameroon are respectively located in, of course, they are located in Minimatap and uh, 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 Balam. Bauxite is located in Minimatap and the iron is located in Balam. And then, name three minerals in Cameroon used mostly for uh, uh, rings and medals for weddings and trophies celebrations. Of course, we are talking about diamond, gold, and silver. You know, in most uh, medal occasions, you hear of diamond medals, gold medals, and uh, uh, silver medals. Or you can hear of diamond rings, silver rings, gold rings. As assignment, we are going to, with the aid of localities and the mineral examples in Cameroon, outline groupings of mineral resources in Cameroon. We are also going to outline the geologic setting of mineral resources in Cameroon. You can exploit geology for advanced level and fundamentals of geology for more information on mineral resources in Cameroon. We have come to the end of our lesson. Our next lesson will be on economic minerals and natural resources in Cameroon, part two. See you in our next lesson. On a terre minga, ma terre nyum, on a terre ma jang, ma terre ndom, mane tambia ninya ne njubia yen, ngani bana, ma terre mot, ngani la kiri wa terre ndom, esokina bia dinki do, mane tambia ninya ne njubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne injo biayen.